Hey guys, this is Maddie, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be stretching my ears from a one gauge to a zero gauge. And I just swore, and I'm gonna have to edit that out because it's in the first minute of the video, so I'm stupid. Before we get into it, First, make sure to like this video if you end up enjoying it. Comment down below whatever you want to comment. Um, make sure to subscribe for more content that might be good. And also, hit that bell to know when I post. It's every Thursday, but in case if you forget, it would be really helpful to have that on. So, you know, I highly recommend it. So, I am stretching my ears. Um, if you hear jingling, my cat is down here and he didn't want to go upstairs because I'm in the basement that's where my bedroom is so like I tried to get him to go and he wouldn't so like yeah you're just gonna have to deal with that and I'm sorry I have a couple of supplies here and I'm gonna let you guys know what you're gonna need to do dead stretching which by the way that's what I'm doing um, I stopped using tapers like two stretches ago and now I'm just dead stretching. I am technically going to be using the tapers just to kind of like aid the plug into my ear. But like they, they're they pretty fucking loose. So it's probably, if anything, it's just going to make it easier instead of me just trying to like shove something in there. You know, some things you're going to need is some um, antibacterial soap just to clean your ears, you know, in between stretches, which you should be doing because you get a bunch of dead skin buildup and you don't. You don't want that in your ear, okay? Um, and then whatever oil or stretching balm you're gonna use. I use vitamin E oil, but jojoba, other stuff works. And then some Q-tips to kind of, I use this because I have long nails and I get, like, I don't want, like, I don't want to get oil all under them. So this is really helpful if you have long nails. And then obviously the stuff to stretch with. Um, here's zero gauge. I put the glass plugs from Body Art Forms inside the bag with the tapers from Amazon. And then just in case, I have my double zero bag right here. And this is just in case if I need the O-rings, because if you watched my last video, the O-rings from that size wouldn't fit. So I had to put the O-rings from the next biggest size because they were pretty tight. I start with my right ear because this is like my harder ear and I like to get it over with. I think that's pretty much everything. I keep looking at my Gatorade like this is a, uh, like that's a thing you will need, but it's not, so. Yeah. So I'm gonna take out this plug and then I'm gonna quickly clean it and then um, rub it a little bit with some oil and also put some oil on the end of the taper and then hopefully it should just guide right through. Glide, guide, glide right through. So I'm just gonna take this out. Oh, and I also have a thing of water because um, I usually would do this in the bathroom but I don't like the lighting in my bathroom so I just bring down a cup of water to help me rinse my my little lobules you know after i done i'm done putting antibacterial soap on it so i have a little tissue i prefer to use tissues or paper towels versus like actual towels because i think it's just a little cleaner so i'm going to take this out clean it put some oil on it and we'll be good earlobe is all cleaned and i'm just drying it off right now and then we're going to take some oil on a q-tip put it on my ear get it inside it too you know all that on stuff and then take the end of the taper put some oil on that and then this should just go right through yep so what I usually do is I'm just gonna let that sit in there and do its thing the nice thing about these glass plugs is they don't have the rim on it that some steel tunnels do and it can be very annoying so it should just slide right in now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other ear clean it oil it and stick it in I'm gonna try to put this in easy bro this has been going so well and i'm so happy about that i'm gonna take my zero gauge glass plugs from body art forms just try to like stick this g in it definitely made it a lot easier because those motherfucking steel plugs dude were just like a fucking nightmare so let's see if i can get this o-ring on and like i said if not i have the double zero never mind <laughs> I got it in, so we're cool. This is what my little ear looks like at a zero gauge. Let's work on my other ear now. She's been sitting there for a little bit, sitting pretty. She's fine. She's hanging. Easy. 
Okay, and I'm gonna put the other O-ring on. Yeah, a lot of this has gotten like significantly easier, like the bigger you get. Like putting in plugs, putting in O-rings, a lot of it is just kind of like it just does what it needs to do. At smaller sizes, I feel like it involves a lot more manipulating of things and it's annoying. There's my other ear at a zero gauge, which we are finally at, which is sweet. Anyways, that's it guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, next up, I'm actually, I'm going to have two double zero sizes. I have one that is, I believe, let me look. This one is nine millimeters and then we're also going to have a 10 millimeter double zero. So we got, we got two of those. Cause like I said, I'm doing in between sizes to make sure we are being as safe as we can be. Um, another important thing I feel like I should mention is how long I wait in between stretches. I just wait until they're loose as hell. I don't really keep track of it. Sometimes it's a week, sometimes it's two weeks. When I was at smaller sizes, sometimes it was a couple of days, but I also had my ears stretched in the past. So like it made it very easy to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure to continue watching more of my videos. You know, I post every Thursday. I will see you in the next one. Bye.